Hello, and welcome to the world's number three scientific research center, the Entropy Center. I'm practitioner Shala. And I'm Dr. Pixel, computer aficionado. Today, it's another installment of, uh, um, oh, yeah, I guess that's how this game plays. Thank you, Stubby Games, for creating this absolute banger. Oh, and we're playing the Switch version. Of course, there's one on Steam, but this is the version for Switch. Right. Oh, speaking of, did you hear that the Switch 2 is going to be announced in the near future? Bollocks. I think it's just going to be a pro dock that makes it run better than the PS5. I wouldn't go as far as the PS5, but... You put a cooling fan, two processors, and another graphics card in the dock. Mm -hmm. It is better than the PS5. It runs better than the PS5. Is that so? I'm just looking at straight numbers. Uh, oh, there's a ramp, I think. get the at least one of those cubes up and over onto that but you can't touch the grill am I right? Yep it's a classic dissipation field. Well is there a ramp on the right hand side of it? Look directly at the grill. Look right. Is that a ramp? Um, no, yes, it sticks. Had a day of. I was volume. working with like a a portal map. Everything's so destroyed. Where did everyone go? What on earth happened here? It's like a You're guy not like, on Earth. You're on the moon in a space station. Yes, I know, but it's a thing, hmm. you know, like, what on Earth? No, not correct. You are on the moon. Yeah, but what you meant to say is, what on moon happened here? Okay, that's just dumb. It's correct. <sighs> <laughs> so, who would you rather have as a companion? This entropy bot or... Oh, I know what you gotta do now. It's like an, uh... Hi, just... Look, and... Nope, that was all. Hmm. Now... Take that one, drop it on the button down there. And then reverse time. Uh, hmm. Once you get across reverse time, so with it and Reverse time on that box that you dropped down there. So it's up here again. Hmm. 
Oh. Walking through the grill. Walking through the grill to remove yeah. the seconds of you moving it, didn't it? Yep. I'm smart enough to think I know what I'm doing. Drop it on the button and... Something? I thought so. You, what happened to the 35 seconds that you had while holding it? seconds off of it. Ooh. Grab it here, grab the other one, toss it across. And... Down. Yep. Oh wait. Yes. It's pressing the shadow button like this the time. I think it is. Looking at the control scheme now. <laughs> That's hilarious. What? It is doing that. And there's also the news article that Reddit people People who use Reddit are messing with the people who read Reddit stories. And Sexy Bomb. Sexy Bomb Bomb. I was actually using French, but fair enough. Hmm. No, thank you. Dude, it's like a train station. On the moon! Yep. It's like a vending station. Vending station. On the moon! 
but your ass, that's a bitch. On the moon! That's backlit. On the moon! This is my new joke of the video. <laughs> This is a better, you know, very easier idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. On your left. Nothing but dirt. On on your right. Stop. Right. Turn right. There's a button. Turn right. Ooh. Right you are. Ha, it's an eject button. Why don't they have these in subways? I don't think the average person takes the high velocity swings that long. The New Yorkers, the belt different. Why well, I get hit by a cab every Thursday? On the 42nd Street. 40. I get hit by a cab on every other Thursday on 42nd Main. Yeah! Sweet! Every day I get get to a knife fight for over taxis with rats. The rat queen of the five burrows challenges me to a knife fight. Their body temperature by purring. Doing so increases muscle use, which in turn increases body temperature, what are you? creating a healthy and regulated lifestyle for the feline. It is also widely speculated that cats purr as a healing huh. mechanism. Why are you telling me this? Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? I detected you were subscribed to Entropy Cat Facts. Do you wish to unsubscribe? Keep me subscribed. <laughs> He thinks Chuck E. Cheese is scary. Just wait till you see that rat kick, that rat queen. Wee! Wee! Take this. 
here. Well. I'm wondering how the speedrunners treat this game. Once I learn the time mechanics. Solid. But not much of uh, a trick to, to know. I just gotta... Oh, I see. You use that. You use that bit and reverse. Reverse it back onto the other button. The springboard. There's glass there. Uh, the springboard that she had. The springboard that you use to get up to the platform. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can uh, grab that one. No, the other one. The, the flat one. Yeah. Grab it, put it on the button that opens up the door, mm -hmm. walk it across, and then reverse it back on the, the button. You just got to keep that square one on, on there. So hard when you're thinking of the verse. My brain works like a 3D printer. I can think in three dimensions, which is weird, but it's kind of cool. Quick, get you an apple. Got it. Nice. That's cool. Thank you. 
I think you did it the right way. You just gotta reverse it onto the next button before you jump over. My cash is going to be erased. So we'll just do the simple version. Bingo, bango, bongo, bongo,
Jump down onto that one. Yeah. So, uh, that's so, such a small, small bunny hop. <laughs> yeah, didn't even think about it. Well, we'll have to get you playing TF2 to practice your bee hopping. Uh, bazooka hopping? Yes. Wait, is that why it's called that? Huh. I usually thought that isn't usually called like rocket jumping. Yes. But ah, if you jump while at while you're still falling, you're not only breaking your character's ankles, but you're still technically in the air, so you can get max damage off of a rocket jump. Or some thing like that. Do you need to be up here any further? I don't know. Let's combine the story to when it was open. <laughs> That would just bite it, bite the thumb at security. Just so. Uh, you hit the, the verse and it's just. Or it just becomes a tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh! It's a glass elevator. Hmm. You're on the wall! On the moon! <laughs> now you got me doing it. Moon Sacagawea. Moon Pocahontas. Moon Nondescript Gatorades. But we digress. Someone Pro heroes gather in latest My Hero Academia visual novel. Great, there's a My Hero Academia dating sim. Call me in Ashida. Oh my God, Invisible Girl would just be so easy. Nintendo considers Pikmin a flagship IP, offers updates on a next-gen console. Switch to Martin with Pikmin 5. Pikmin, Louie's Adventures. It's just, uh, doing the dungeon mashy thing of eating all of his enemies. If it's like Pikmin 4, he's gonna have that one dog <laughs> that Olimar finds after he spilled the food. <laughs> 